Good evening, everyone, and we welcome you back to the last game of today's stream. We are on our week four of day two of the country's Premier League in League of Legends, the Bacchus Pro Gaming Series 2017 Summer Split. Drive your energy, and I'm Vulcan, and with me is Uwomi. We'll be a casters for the last game of the third match. Well, kanina sa game na yun, makikita natin talaga na yung drafting phase sobrang intense. Mm. Na to the point na yung Zillion pick, akala nila siguro nasa support yun, but no, Aiko played mid yeah. Zillion. Then that Galio, siguro a lot of us thought that it was going top lane, but no. It was, it was support. support, it was support. And then, biglaan yung TNC, there's, there goes that AD top Lucian. Mm -hmm. That really, I don't know, nagulat din ako. Parang it was all surprising, but then, it all came down on how they played those yes. comps. For me, it actually set me back in the good old days of the promotions and relegations where we see new teams really showing their skills. And now TNC though, I gotta say their draft was very surprising. Yeah. Also for ACA. But when it comes to how they scaled, leave it to ACA, that Gallia support was yeah. really a threat. And I think because of this, they've won the first game. But now, moving on to the schedule to see what's up, it's going to be right now. Match three of the two game series of Asian Arena against TNC. A very exciting matchup right now kasi di ba pinakamababang team ngayon ng ACA but then again they beat TNC and that lowers the TNC's chance to have a playoff spread and here. here are the scores. If ever ACA does get a sweep, this will give them 5 points. Kaya nga eh, pagkatating nila sa 5 points, that automatically puts them above TNC. But then again, TNC has more games than yes. left than them. No, that the games played do matter, but Ace Asian Arena will still try their best to not stay at the bottom. But for TNC, they are still fighting for their spots in the playoffs. Yeah, the playoffs, very important part. Papunta na talaga ng Rampage. Ng mat sino kayang makakalaban ng TME na nasa mm -hmm. 15 points ngayon? Yeah, man. For TME, they've performed really well. But to our viewers out there, I hope you shared our stream because we are still having the uh, share and win promo. So, you know, the mechanics, we do have the hashtag. Share it on your Facebook uh, page. Dapat public. <laughs> public yeah, on public. your timeline. Uh, there it is actually the hashtag code with the live stream on our Facebook or gaming.youtube and we will have five winners of the mystery game. Yeah, uh, this is Aka's last game in the regulation, so... Mm -hmm. nga. When it comes so, to the last game, what's the mentality these players have? This is going to be sort of a make or break scenario. Yeah, thinking nasa nangyari sa last game, na yung mga composition nila, it, it all went down nga doon kung paano nila binato. There was a time where nalipat yung spike sa TNC, eh. especially that Zac Oat yeah. throwing back to the cannon. That was a, Beautiful. That was a highlight for me with a three-man Zac Oat onto the cannon's old back. That is just uh, something of a perfect or a goal that they want to do. At least they've done it once, yeah. but this time, it would be uh, TNC on the blue side against Asian Arena on the red side. We're seeing opening bands onto a Zillion, uh, onto Aiko's mid lane Zillion. Yeah, it's actually not a respect band to Aiko. It's it's an overall band on the pick nila. Because two of the players sa ACA knows how to play Zillion well. And dun nga sa part na yun, na TNC bans this Anivia again like game one. That's a respect band kay Aiko. Aiko known to be deadly with that Anivia. And looking at her last pick, Zillion mid with a J stop and a jungle Olaf. For TNC, they did play the Zac really, really well, but it all came down to the laners, especially Lando in the top lane, who got completely shut down. Yeah, he got completely shut down, but kudos to Lando, the way he built that Lucian with the Death Dance and a Phantom Dancer. 
being able to survive a little bit longer than expected. Mm -hmm. And now with the picking phase starting, TNC will be prioritizing that Galio. Yeah, Galio really strong right now. Talagang yung pick pick rate niya pagka hindi na ban, laging nanja ng Galio sa mga games natin. What do you expect from a champion who is considered OP and when it comes to utility, engage, and kite? Galio has it all, and now Asian Arena will be taking away that Zack and Karma. Yes, Karma, another strong support. Kahit na nerf siya sa 7.12, wherein his, her shields don't do as much as shielding anymore. But then again, that movement speed from that Mantra E to his teammates, plus that Zack ult, Really, help, really will help in disengaging and engaging for Asian Arena. And this is ACS last game in the regular season of the Summer Split. Yeah. So, go all out. Yeah, go all out. I mean, if you're going go, going outside of this game, you just have to put it all na dyan. Pakita nyo na kung kaya nyo Asian Arena. So, if they manage to get a sweep and get five points, and if the other teams who actually manage to get swept by themselves that say they still stay at four points that is going to be Asian Arena's glimmer of hope of staying still in the promotions relegations and not get auto relegated yeah. all they have to do for that little chance they have to win this series yes. with a sweep. win this with a sweep and go to church go to the <laughs> shrine I've seen some of my uh, friends who are graduating they visit this shrine of Mother Mary and I think Asian Arena will be doing that yeah for a miracle for a miracle and you can look at the TNC's pick right now they took a Lulu which might be a flex pick for the top lane or the support so we won't know. Galio and Lulu are both good flex picks, but oh. locking in Rek'Sai, that's sure jungle though. This is going to be ACA's mind game again. We might see, let's see, hopefully uh, mid Ezreal is possible or mid Karma. Let's see how it's going to play out uh, with TNT. Uh, picking more of meta-based champions this time yeah. entering the second game. Yeah, no, enter, entering the phase two of the band though, TNC bans two more mid laners for Aiko. But they're moving the Ari and Lux. But the Victor picks it out. Yeah, the Vic. Oh, another combo for Zach to bring in the enemies towards the Victor. Oh, deadly combo. Mm -hmm. So now, let's see. Will ACA lock that Victor in to finalize their mid lane? And yes, that would be a lock in with Asia Arena's mid laner would be a, a Victor. Oh, to Aegos. And now, oh, this is interesting. We're going to be seeing a Zaya and a Karma combo. One of a classic combo of use by TME. Whereas Hayes will be handling that LeBlanc against a Victor. Oh, Victor versus LeBlanc is purely mechanical skill na laban. Kasi you can move out from that uh, move out from that gravity field and deal damage or you can move in and maloko ka ng Victor to that bait and Victor will automatically win that trade. Let's see. I love the draft for both teams. This is Asian Arena's last game in their regular season of the Summer Split. All out and hope yeah. for the best. Yeah, and looking at their comp, it seems promising. They're hard engaged for Sejuani there and Zach. Uh, with their hard engage, they also have this mer this karma from Moraito Boy that will help them sustain throughout that fight that they force. And then on the TNC side, there's oh, there's a whole lot of protection coming in from Galio, coming in from Lulu, and then TNC high on that Saya. It just means that once she gets this level six, meron na siyang sariling escape tool. And uh, I don't know, siguro now that they put high on ADC, will they have higher chances of winning right now? No. <laughs> the pawns are not intended. So, let's see. TNT Pro Team on the blue side against Asian Arena. On the red side, this is the Bacchus Pro Gaming Series 2017 Summer Split. No. I hope that Asian Arena will be able to sweep this, getting themselves three points. Yeah, I hope, I hope to as well. Pero... Looking at TNC right now, looking at high, going back to that AD carry role and mm. endless ace and support. Kudos to endless ace. Actually, nagulat ako sobrang versatile niya. He played ADC first game. Now he's playing support, and high is back on that AD carry. So it's it it will be an exciting game right now. Look, sorry, of finding his match in that AD carry. And let's see how that's gonna play out with the roster changes towards TNC's lineup under the ref.
Guys, we are now live on the ref TNC on the blue side against Asian Arena on the red side. This is the last games of day two, week four in the PGS Summer Split. Again with this start, ACA walks to Walks as a five-man unit looking for a kill, but then spotted by a ward early. Oh. TNC learned from their game one. I wonder who actually got that ward. So that's like a bit of EXP. So Ezreal. Yeah, Ezreal might, uh, might get the first level too. So we did see that some pro players who actually carry, them, carry themselves with a, let's say, a sweeping lens for that early spike. Yeah, I mean, nagulat din ako eh, para hindi man. So once they get like that early level two, it might be a level two all in that might win that lane for them. Yeah, small victories tend to go big, and right now TNC will be have will be tending their lands for some chances to fight against AC because great things come when you're patient. Yeah, and speaking of patience, looks like say Navla won't be ganking bot lane for too long. Baka mag mid lane muna siya since he's going to start on the Raptor side. Mm -hmm. And while on the TN oh well on TNC side, there's go. Oh, and a six for face check might pay a price. He's very low, but still holding on to that flash. Oh no, that biscuits will put be put into use their early game. That might I actually kanina pa na nanalo ang bot lane sa small trades na wala pang ang minions. Mm -hmm. Pero again, let's look at this jungle pathing ni Rexai. They he might go bot lane afterwards. We are looking na kinukuha niya ng red side and ng Nizakium red. So this might mean a, an early gank towards top lane or mid lane. I think if top lane gets the start, especially uh, Jason against Lando, but they are both tanks. Normally, you wouldn't shoot foot high on this car where he will be driven in a highway where he will snowball. Yeah, I mean, if you, kahit naman kasi mabaog yung mga tanks, di ba? Okay lang, even if they get behind, super behind. As long as they get the sufficient HP na matatank nila yung damage ng mga kalaban, it's okay. Hindi lang yung katulad ng mga 0-5 tanks, that, yun talaga yung hindi na maganda for a tank. Yeah, something you want to take in consideration is that how you scale and how you build has to complement your team's playstyle. Yeah, and now we see Zach recalling. That means he's going full clear, but Rek'Sai is spotted at the bot lane. Mm -hmm. Here it comes first and first Kang in three minutes into the game. All right, the bar flashes away. The heal has been burnt. Luxuria just spending them off. He should have warded in the three-minute mark. Bad warding there by Moraita Boy forces a flash from himself and a heal out of Luxuria. Their small wins from early game na wala pang minions got negated and ngayon lamang pa ang TNC sa bot lane. But from the gang itself, it does give TNC a bit of a breathing space. And first comes in for a second gag. For right, the boy has no flash. Oh, no. That will be the first blood going to burst. Burst with their turnaround gang. Just bur burnt flash for the first gang. Better ward your lane. Better ward your lane next mm -hmm. time. Burning flashes in PGS is the best way to get yourself first blood. And on to burst, he will be rushing that Zia man. Yeah, I mean, clear speed on, on uh, once you get Yamat on your Rex side, the clear speed significantly rises up. And That's gonna help him itemize towards the Titanic Hydra. And did he steal that loop off from Sinavla? I think he I, did. He did. He, he busted out that ah. badge. I think he did. It's disrespect, but come on, it's That's a little bit part of the game. First going in, Aiko. Gets knocked up in the air, flashed away from Burst. Burst is really delivering the pressure all across the map. Yeah, that that flash was extremely worth it for Rek'Sai. Because even though burn the flash, niya, now that Victor has no flash, LeBlanc's dashes will be more deadly. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, from what happened in bot lane, Echo has this post-trauma like, hey, wait a minute, I don't have my flash. Burst might gag me again. I better go back, but Burst is eyeing the top lane. But Jason backs away. Burst is in the red side of ACA. Might go for a repeat gang into the mid lane. Yeah, I, I'm actually asking myself kung bakit hindi pa nag-gang si Sainavla. Being a Zac, you should have put more pressure or naunahan lang oh siguro siya boy. ni Burst on every lane possible. Dude. Mm, the shark is back. Dude. It's new old Dude. though. Dude. Ah, ang ganda talaga tingnan. Burst going in. Echo spots him. He does not have his flash. We see Hayes going in for the tether. Will connect and the burst will be enough for Hayes to pick up a kill onto Echo. 
Burst is pretty happy with that. Again with the burnt flashes, di ba? Mm -hmm. Nangin na wala ng flash si Victor, natamaan lang siya ng tether, it's already over. And ang ganda ng pag-cancel to ni, ni Dexai sa stun ni Zack. That's just very juicy. I mean, the way that Burst is playing is very... It's toying! ACA's playing that and Jason trying to duel up Lando, but the damage reduction is just too much. And I think Burst... With one kill and one assist, might as well just go for the TM, man. And go for the Titanic Hydra, which we see where Rek'Sai, who really are snowballing a lot, tend to get. But now, oh my lord, Burst, you better give some mercy. Hi is on a wrap, and I had to actually get an assist thanks to Burst. But it'll be Burst really doing all the work. A yeah, 100% kill participation. Burst having this killer instinct, parang may orasan siya sa utak niya na, ah, this guy doesn't have clash. I'm going to gank him again and again and again until it's, it feels so hard. It's gank o'clock for Burst, and I think where he's gonna be seeing Jason trying to solo out Lando. Flash is in, and the undying grass will help dish out damage onto Lando. Yeah, great trade there by by Jason. Yung corrupting potion niya talaga nakatulong sa case kalaban niya si Doran's shield. Ay, Doran's ring rather yung, that extra damage from the corruption potion really helps and i think what happened in ACA's side is just they're, they're so scared like, especially Moraita boy he is easily targeted but knowing that that is a karma so now we're seeing Sanabla a bit jealous wants some spotlight let me have what let me have this and then the face gets healed he gets rooted the kill oh, no. will be going to Sanabla he does play with his flash the hero entrance is gonna make its way in. Lando is there. Sinabla gets slowed. Slaying shots away. Great trade there by Sinabla. Finally making his presence felt inside uh -oh. the map. Victoria. Oh, he manages to shift away from Lando's taunt. Then, looking at the way Lando plays right now, he's maximizing his capability to jump from lane to lane. He's just level. He just hit level six, but then again, he appeared in that lane looking for a kill. All out. Seven minutes into the game, forty-six seconds, three to two kill score. I love how ACA is going all out, but TNC. I just love burst right now because of his rex eye. Yeah, burst has, rex eye right has, now. Yeah, man. Oh boy. Oh boy. And he, he even has a long sword to further his damage more. And as of now, I can't help but think if kung yung pressure ba pumapasok na sa utak ng ACA ngayon na this is their last game na diba? I mean PNC has to have this killer instinct they have to win a, a game at least I think they have Burst's instinct I think Burst is gonna be delivering the pain he is like this Lee Sin Lee, he's like the Lee Sin that he's blind right he's like a mole rat he's the Lee Sin that's going to be an animal the animal version of Lee Sin, where he's blind and he's a mole. And senses his enemies on the ground, apparently. Yeah. Land Lee, shark. <laughs> if Lee Sin has a spirit animal, it would be Rex, though. Yeah, the void version oh. of Lee Sin, except <laughs> he's really blind. Oh, burst conscious and now flow. Let's see, there's a blast cone. By the way, slingshot may be able to reach him, but I think Senavla will not commit to that. I, Rex side right now is just a really sticky champion to do with. Once na makaburo siya papunta sa yo and he attacks her AD carry, even if Ezreal has this essence shift or flash, her his new ultimate, Rexai's new ultimate, her, Rexai is a girl. Rexai's new ultimate. The execution is execu just too, too is much. Like the damage is just ridiculous. And yeah, you especially. can't really dodge it unless you have let's see a shifting skill at Ezreal's arcane shift. So I think when it comes to execution, burst will be the one. And like as you said, Romy, I think burst is like a sticky gum. And the only way you can remove gum from your hair is to wash your hair with oil. And that's a lot of oil. And Zack is sticky as well. So let's see if you fight gum with gum. Who's the better gum in this game? <laughs> I think burst is the more... I think it's the uh, gum tape. Like he's longer, he's you chew more, he's stickier. Well, as Sanavla on a Zack, he is a gum, but he's more of a gummy bear. You, know? <laughs> you can you can bite a gummy bear. It's it's a bit sticky, but not as sticky, sticky as, as a real gum, like Masuka. <laughs> There's oh the no. oil. You know, you know how to dis how to destroy gum. You, you <laughs> freeze it, and then you electrify yeah, it. Yeah, you freeze it, it and you shatter it, or you shower it with oil. Uh -huh. 
any of those options to destroy this burst that is And I do have Jason for that. Like, but like a refrigerator, Jason will be freezing burst from his rampage. But looking at Saya right now and the itemization of Ezreal forcing him to get an early Sheen just to match that BF sword. And 45 minions from now, he will get that refund to, from her cull. But here's the thing about when you freeze gum. When you freeze gum, the flavor gets intensified. It's like you're chewing a new gum. It gets more delicious. So when Burst gets frozen, I think it's gonna make him stronger. So if there's that false security, that Burst might be taken down. Yeah, and who knows? Baka mamaya, once they build this AD, he wants he two shots uh, AD carry. Who knows? He might build AD. Yeah, he might go for the uh, AD path or more of a defensive road with the Titanic Hydra. He can go for the Deadman's Plate. As I said, when you freeze gum, it also gets more delicious. And ngayon naman sa top lane natin, makikita natin na he's, uh, Galio is going <laughs> towards a Sunfire Cape. <laughs> nope. I just love this. <laughs> Same. I love the music <laughs> here. <laughs> boy, right, the boy gets locked up. Does he have the flash up? He does have his flash. He is still holding on to it. He did manage to tether burst. So I think that's more right, the boy being knowing his champion better. Yeah, good decision for Moraita Boy there to immediately tether Jexai once he had the chance. Oh. And Senavla the sneaking there? here, there's the there? but detected by Rek'Sai. I get scared every time Burst is there. I can hear the music. It gives me a heart attack. Oh, might Rek'Sai might pop up right here underneath us. Oh <laughs> Who my knows? god, if it does, I have to chew my gum. <laughs> Oh, go, go. looking at the itemization of the mid lane, we have a Sorcerer's Boots on Victor and an immediate Gunblade at LeBlanc. Oh, that's the... that's really a big burst of damage for LeBlanc. Yes, that first kill and the CS lead of 10 really rushing. That Hextech Gunblade will help his roam around the ramp more and offer that pressure in pushing power. Speaking of roaming around more, he has also this Dark Seal. One, mm, if cool. ever he gets that kills roaming around, it's going to be a hard time for Victor. He might go for a mage as if he chooses to, if he feels that confident yeah. entering this uh, last game. Just the coming there. Oh, okay, he's got slowed, but here comes first. I'm the better gum. I dodged that bridge, and that's going to be an ultimate wasted by Jason. Yeah, and it might mean a big trade in the top lane since he was able to solo kill Galio early on in the game. So does that means that Galio has this few seconds of safety in his lane. Yes, we can see that Lando is catching up in CS slowly but surely, but still, so when he says the def deficit is pretty huge. When it comes to itemization, Echo flashes away from Haze. Another the burn flash for the mid laner. Bim, baka maamoy na naman to ni Burst and uh, here comes like, the Rek'Sai Shark Camp again. Let's see, though he is. He did spot that the flash has been burnt. So Echo. Oh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> oh man, Burst. Every time you use your flash, it's actually giving. There's this hidden passive of Burst. He has this passive where when you use a flash, there will be a ping. So, uh, oh wait. Uh, Walang flash. Ay, Ay. Automatic gang. Automatic gang. Let's go in. But this time Burst has the bigger picture. He wants the Infernal Drake. Yeah, sneaky ward from ACA though. Not quite sure if nakikita nila. They're pinging towards the dragon but nakuha na ng dragon. Nakuha na oh, ng TNC boy. yung Infernal. And an Infernal Drake this early gonna be deadly for ACA. And now hey, is trying to go into the A. So here comes Burst. You don't have a flash. I'll be there and Burst is really delivering a lot of presence around the route with at least oh wait still a hundred percent kp no that pa that out game passive of of burst that when i flash when i flash here i come and there we go again another gank by burst punishing those laners without flash it's like this i'm smelling something wait when I flash <laughs> oh, it's Jason. like he has this sense that every time a champion flashes I think in his brain, 
he see he sees an invisible ping that no one else can see that oh i see it i see the thing you're doing and tnc is like i didn't ping anything but he said i know what you mean you don't you know that echo has no flash and i'll be there yeah it, i mean the, it's kind of pass you passive me rexai you, you it actually smells but or senses yeah yeah it's part of i am rexai this is why i'm good with rexai because i am rexai efficiency by burst is really yeah. helping tnc catch up in this game too yeah. whereas ACA they are still trying to catch up in terms of let's say uh, pressure and map and especially Zenavla who has yet to dictate the lane especially when you are on a Zac. Yeah I mean look at Haze right now he's on a 20 CS lead a gunblade and a sorcerer's feast her, her damage right now can he can easily go to bot lane and burst down Luxuria but then again he won't have to do that since he can burst down Victor as well. Okay, so now we're seeing at the summoners, Echo has no flash yet, but Burst already took out, took him down, so he's pretty much happy with that. But now I see it, and the mini map might go for the uh, bot lane, but Mariah Boy has post trauma. He does not want to overextend because of Burst. He may need he may need counseling after this. Oh. Luxuria alone in the bot lane. I hope Lulu doesn't find out or he may be punished for that. Karma going towards the mid lane. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> oh uh, I guess one of the reward. Yeah. This is Moraita boys, you know, experience stacking up like, man, I am 0 2 right now. I can just catch a break. Let me just put a ward everywhere. Actually, that's a great way to pull your team back up when you're down as a support. You put good wards, you make sure you don't die, you make sure you, your ADC is safe at the bot lane, roam around, try to get kills. So Morita Boy definitely showing his experience inside this game. And now Endless A space checking to his death. That's going to be a lot of resources burned with Aiko picking up his second kill. Might be able to duel out Haze when it comes to the mid lane. Yeah, as long as he doesn't get hit by that double tether, I think Victor can win that trade. Mm, and I hope for Sinabla, he is catching up in terms of skills and assists. But leave it to burst, he already completed his uh, Titanic Hydra. Might go for the uh, Bami Cinder and then the Cinder Hulk. Yeah, he, he went yeah, no, he went the not so AD build. And now... Not so AD path, but this is what happens when you give a lead. A first blood on top to first, especially a Rek'Sai. Yeah, I mean, it, that also translated to Saya's uh, early reaver. Then, ngayon, kung titignan natin si Ez, he's going towards an early Triforce para lang masabayan oh. yun, not a mana mune. So, matatagal lang pa tayo seeing those mana mune procs sa sobra. Okay. But still, a Triforce is better pickup, not the gauntlet, which does offer more durability and slow. But leave it to Triforce to deliver the damage. Mariah the Boy's face check. I think the burst will not happen. Mariah the Boy survives. However, Hayes I'd goes over the wall. I'd like to commend Mariah the Boy's fast play there. He could have been bursted down, but then he was fast enough to cast that Mantra W that healed him. That's been it really denied on kill, so I think they'll be surviving. And the race is in favor of TNC, especially high. They managed to get the first third of the game, that 650 gold, whereas Jason just came in second. Almost got that first time. Almost, yet not close enough. And now we're seeing Endless Ace in the top side. Jason spots him, backs away. Saya's bonus attack speed from her W really helping with that C. Oh, Mariah boy! You are not cutting on your luck. It worked once, and I think Hayes got a bit offended from that. I said, hmm, let me try one more time, and it works. Sadly, it looks like her mantra right now is on cooldown. No heals from Raito boy. No heals for him and no defensiveness. And Hayes, I'm gonna say the Hextech Gunblade is something you have to watch out for. Yeah. It really helps set up the kill for Hayes. And because of this, I think we might see a contest for the Cloud Drake. Yeah. And looking at, I really like how TNC is really good at this game at punishing laners who burnt their flashes or burnt, uh, burnt, uh, Burnt defensive spells. Right now, Burst, he did try his best to establish pressure, but when you're in the 19 minute mark, you can't really do much, especially, especially when Aiko and the Morita boy knows his moves. So he did step back a bit. Still, he's still in the lead in terms of gold compared to Senabla, who didn't anyone see yet. Oh, Senabla gets denied. He turns into a little cute puppy there. 
Yeah, I mean, like Sinovler is being out jungled right now compared to last game where he was the, he was a better jungler early to mid game, but then late game, it's just Olaf really falls off unless they're super fed, and it's a normal thing to happen. Pero uh, as of now, Burst telling na hindi na if na hindi siya magpapatay. I like how TNC is playing, especially first. He's now taking the cloud break, very objective oriented. They did get the first turret of the game, whereas ACA came in second. Jason sees what they're trying to do. Just ignores it because when you see something bad at school and you don't want to be involved, you just ignore the bullies. Like, you see the bullies doing something bad, you just look at them, just walk away. Yeah, and another Drake for TNC, and now they have a fire, a fire an infernal Drake. And a cloud drake that will further make bursts gank yeah. faster the mobility, and stronger. The presence of a Rek'Sai will be there. And surprisingly, we're in the 20 minute mark, but hindi pa masyado na push yung mga, mga turrets natin sa tier 2. Only the tier 1 bot lane and the tier Ooh. 1 top lane push. Lando, in, recalling in front of uh, Jason. <laughs> but now, in the top side, high and endless ace. So he's trying to take down this uh, top lane, counter turret, evening up his goal score, and he's making their goal lead up to 3,000. Look, sure he catches up. He does have the red buff. There is the better storm. Here comes Senavla. Flashes oh. in. Fly! High! Dodges that. The less bounce will not connect. Then now it gives High the room to free it onto Maragnabar. But it'll be Luxuria coming out on top. Secure the kill onto Ellen's ace. Now first is there. Trying to secure or lock down Senavla. Senavla is very low. He is trying to go to survive with the courage of the Colossus. But here comes Haze for the flag. Takes down for Ryza for And the cell division is up. The teleport plays coming in. But Echo is there. Put a shot down with his victor. And High can have to save two more. Here comes Jason. And the Glacial Prison, thanks to Jason, will take down High. Burst just walking away. Well, great trade there by ACA. When akala mo mananalo na yung TNC on that trade dun sa LeBlanc na, na, na napatay niya si Morita Boy, Echo walks in then laser lasers down lasers to the face the laser face and it wasn't dodgeable since he didn't throw the laser on the ground it was the laser from his Q that killed the blanc oh look oh, going in and his ace gets slow there's the red buff he does have small mana to use an arcane shift but the zero engine will block him off he did have enough mana oh, for ah oh, two shot barrage whoa okay Oh, that, wasn't that was pretty really good. Yeah, really good. Yeah, and here's a replay wherein TNC Hayes did a really great job here zoning out the, the carry and the support. But then Aiko with this great response here ter turns out that TNC will lose this fight once na nakapasok na si Aiko and Jason. Really great positioning by Aiko there. Uh, I'm a loss of words from a uh, luxurious playstyle. Really rewarding. It is very very good and i think from that kill boost his confidence and now able to finish up that muramana oh it's now man yeah and kanina lang we were talking about how saya had this lead against the area oh no oh. see how endless ace didn't even last a second and burst the gummy bear oh let me just freeze you up there with ego just shocking him up again and with that freeze and electrify uh, combo and that gummy aca thing. still in the game yeah, and kanina lang pinag-uusapan na, they're taking, they're planning to take Oh, Aaron. first is not there, and this ace is not there. Luxury goes in to the Baron Pit side. Echo is there for a four spiel, trying to zone out the members of TNC. Three members, here comes Hayes going in onto Echo, and Hayes backs away. He is very low. Hi, he's oh, taking no. up the feathers. Here comes the feather storm. He recalls his back. He gets a double kill. Let's see, Jason backing away from high. He gets tethered by the left block. Hayes is still sticking down to Jason. And it will be high, maybe a triple. Let's see. Try to get hit in. Endless Ace will be the one to kill secure that. Great trade by TNC there, and a risky and questionable Baron call by ACA there. And now TNC looks like going to get their Baron for themselves. Oh, patience is something ACA needs to adapt. The Baron will be falling towards TNC, and burst is there. We have the smite secure. And I don't think the Shuria will be using his barrage for his attempt to steal. It is, it is on gold now. Oh yeah, we see a very risky Baron call here. We're in high is in all the position to land those feathers. And look at high landing a line of feathers, then pulling them later apart just for that massive damage. And it was already GG once Lando got that taunt. And I think the Lando's response from that Baron really secured the deal yeah. for uh, TNC to get.
the Baron. The first Baron of the game. Yeah, and actually Luxuria tried to snipe somebody with his ulti, so there was zero contest on that Baron since the True Fire Barrage was on cooldown. The True Shot Barrage was on cooldown, no kill secure yet for, uh, let's see, Luxuria now. TNC has the confidence of the Baron Bomb, but Sinabla is aiming to really shut down Burst. Yeah, I mean, Victor is more oh, than capable. You know, again, Drenz, into the mid lane, let's see. The turret did go down. TNC has three turrets, while ACA only has one, and they have the Baron. Yeah, and now that, now that TNC has the Baron, the gold lead that Luxuria had early on, and the 3 0 and the bad Baron call that gave Saya some kills and assists. Now Saya is in ahead, of this, ahead in this itemization. And I think that's bad news for uh, ACA, especially when they were very impatient in the Baron pit. Yeah, very impatient on that call. But yeah, you may have all the leads you have in this game, but when you uh, really choke in the Baron pit, it will change the flow of the fight. And now TNC aiming to get their second. Cloud Drake, the third Drake of the game. Yeah, now, now that the movement speed uh, for rotations is really a great now for them. Oh, here goes high in the bad space. He goes back away. So now Black couldn't get any member of PNC for his team. He's backing away with a force field for the zone. And now in the top lane, Hayes just chipping down the hill. Little by little. Great decision by ACA to back out from the fight, kahit wala si Hayes. But then a ro the rotation from Hayes to push top lane was really exquisite for TNC. And now Lana's making way into the bot lane in a turret. He does manage to talk Jason, bringing him closer. And I see that Sanabla is there for a respawn. Three against one with the Baron and Howard minions. Two tanks against two, two, two other oh, tanks in the support. Hayes in the top lane. He's in the top lane against Luxuria. Luxuria might get picked off here if he gets too close. Yeah, if he gets too close in Luxuria, it will it will be a burst. But it will be a burst by the Blanc since the Gunblade will make sure that he steps in on that tether. And I think TNC they are trying to close this game. They do have the Baron up. Jason catches Lando's uh, recall, trying to deny it. There comes uh, Lando still sticking to it. First, though. Oh, there is the Permafrost. And the force field, he does flash over the wall next to Burst. Yeah. So. Worth it flash there. If worth. he died there, baka may mangyari pang hindi nila magugustan since the bot lane tar tier 1 of TNC still is still alive. If that falls down, pressure goes down to TNC. Uh, six turrets though, that's a lot of pressure for TNC. The Baron will be expiring soon. This will give ACA a chance to counter attack. Yeah, and now that Ezreal has enough items to actually deal damage and sustain himself, will he be able to carry ACA with the victor? Let's see though, this is going to be their last chance. And their, this is their last game of the regular season. Yeah, and if you look at the stats here, parang yung mga Second support, night. yung mga support palalagi yung nagiging sacrificial lamps <laughs> dyan, no? I mean, Lulu 1-5, Karma 0-5 and 5. So, Sacrifice something to get something. Yeah. And looking at Galio right now, parang hindi naman niya masyado kanina na ma-maximize niya eh. But then when it came to the late, parang it always signaled ACA to back off. So yung maliit niya score na 0 one three, it's because it always made people back off whenever he holds it. Yeah, the backing off is really something. Oh, oh, first catches the permafrost and the glacier frenzy. He does pop over the wall. Lando is there for this is, and now ACA has no resource left. Hayes goes in, but he does get exhausted. He flashes inside, trying to get more item points, but goes back inside. The Curian also shifts away, trying to reposition himself. Lando taunts and he swings away Sanabla. He is very low. Cell division is in play. The Curian uses a two step barrage, trying to deal some damage, but it will be high. Securing the kill, he's on the killing tree with one member down. ACA is forced to back away. Great positioning there by TNC High. Nabato niya talaga yung mga feathers niya enough for even a tank to fall down for his her feathers. And yung pag set do ni Galio, kahit ang nipis lang. Maybe you can see it if you may replay. Like, mapupunta natin do yung ang diit lang ng ng ulti niya na lalabas dun from the Raptors but then natamaan pa rin yung mga oh, ACA Luxuria just didn't stand a chance against Hayes' Gunblade hey, he uh, does have a void stop yeah, hey, we, we're going to see a replay oh. good all towards TNC burst but look at that Galio ult may matatamaan pa rin kahit ganun ka ni Pes and that winds of war ang dami ding natamaan and look at this TNC high 
proper positioning on that clash. Tapos may patoton pa si TNC Lando Jan and TNC just being the better coordinated team on that team fight. And I think from that mistake, they did a lot. They used so much resources onto just Burst. Yeah, Burst and Lando are really, really making a problem for ACA. And now, the members of ACA try to find the members again, but Jason gets to be done again by Endless Ace. Yeah. And as of now, Endless Ace, I, I, ENC rather, has the momentum to finish this game. Yes, Burst is there. There's a redemption. Great redemption to sustain their lane. And yep. look at the Blanc diving in and diving out, beating that out. massive damage. He loves doing that. And Lando is the top side, gonna be pushing this. Top lane, in able to turn and now the base of AG has been invaded by TNC. Able to close the game. Oh, TNC high. So much damage got so up. High. Gonna be too ambitious. Burst. Really locks down Zenobla. Uh, burst again with those Zack cancels. Really good. And, but I think TNC high maybe getting very cocky over there. Goes down to Echo and gets bursted almost immediately. Yep, and now with two turrets, two inhibitors taken down. The inhibitors are exposed. TNC might go back for another round. The amount of Drake will be live in 27 seconds. Ah, and as of now, na wala nang turrets ng ACA. One kill, kung makapatay o kung makakuha si Leblanc ng one kill sa ACA, this might translate to a Baron. Baron is live, as you said, Uwami. And I think ACA is going to be aiming to take this Baron. They still have a fighting chance for the last game. This is their last game going all out. And I gotta hand it to ACA. Kudos to them. Really performing well. In yeah, the I mean, game. It, it, looking at their carries, they're still consistent. Tight losing na sila. 2 1 4 and that the victor. Yeah, especially the victor. A lot of damage done by victor. And ACA actually taking that mountain break for themselves. And let's see now. ACA manages to take away the mountain break from. TNC. But then again, look at Lulu, LeBlanc, and Saya slowly building that vision towards the Baron area. And Hayes might just pick up another Morita boy right here. Oh boy, oh. he's a dead boy there. Oh, Hayes no. with an easy pick off. Oh, and uh, this is what I told you na parang makakuha lang siya isang kill. Makakuha lang siya isang kill. This will translate into a TNC Baron. Let's see though, but first, his aiming is has the bigger picture. Might go for some no, again with that shark music. Oh man, that's just terrifying. And and as of now, ACA is backing off the Baron area as if it's they're handing it over now. Because they know they can't contest without Morita Boy. Yes, Morita Boy is one of the power support. They need a speed and shield, but I don't think the Baron they will be winning it. Oh, a steal, probably. Maybe nah. TNT still managed to take the Baron, and now a fight breaks out. The Baron, but Jason is there, flashes over oh. the wall. But Lando is there for a three-man taunt, and Nava is very low. He is gonna sink it away, but it'll be Hayes taking care of kill, and Nava is still there for some slow. The Julia manages to get away from the grasp of TNT. No matter yet, leaving behind Jason for Burst to take him down, and now with three members down for ACA, TNT still fresh and alive. Said oh, Nava no, cannot that's get away. Ulti. That's the ultimate. And looking at that Baron fight, TNC Lando landed taunt after taunt. And it's not just one man taunts, it was two man taunts, three man taunts, and taunts on crucial targets as well. And this might be game for TNC. And then the timers are pretty huge, and I don't think 18 seconds will be enough for ACA. They do not have the room to work with, but Luxuria! Whoa! It gets bursted with only half. He was still 50% health. But do not underestimate the LeBlanc. Gunblade LeBlanc. Really a great rushed item from Hayes. And now that snowball item, that Gunblade that Hayes bought, really Oop. great yeah. itemization. Very good itemization. And now congratulations to TNC for winning Game 2 of Match 3. They did fumble in Game 1 where uh. their picks were pretty questionable. But this time, the drafting of TNC looked really decent. And because uh. of this and the lead, and thanks to Burst, yeah, that little dumb boy. And he, because of him, I think TNC secured the second game. Yeah, and kung titingnan natin yung laro, uh, the mid jungle combo of TNC, sobrang ganda ng ginagawa ni, ni Burst for his whole TNC squad. William Hayes got that immediate gunblade. Tapos na nakuha niya tayo yung gunblade. That went downhill na for ACA kasi na nakuha niya yung gunblade. It's kills all over the map. Solo kills for LeBlanc Man, as well. Look at the endgame stats and the total damage to champions. 
Oh boy, Haze with the damage dealt by 26 stuns on the highest damage leader. That's gonna be huge. Yeah, huge damage. And kudos to ACA as well. Give going all out at their last game. Nasabayan nila yung damage ng carries. Almost. Pero siyempre, lamang pa rin TNC on this game. Yeah, I think this is going to be a really good closing game. And thank you guys for watching. But before we sign off, let's hear it from TNC themselves. Take it away, rock hard. Hi guys, so uh, again, amazing games from TNC. Able to split up that 1-1 and crush ACA's victory. So I'm here with Hi, AD carry for TNC. And i just like to ask you a few questions, bro. So um, ano, so you make a lot of roster changes, di ba? You swap out roles. Uh, so paano ba nag-decide yung team nyo kung sino ba yung pinaka-effective sa role na to? And uh, how does that decision-making go? Ang um, ginagawa po kasi namin lagi is Puro flex lang po kami. Yung about sa role naman po, uh, decision naman po siya, hindi lang dahil sa team na yon kundi sa mga plano din po namin na gagawin sa kalaban namin. Mm, I see. Um, so what about the next games that you're gonna have? Because you have a road, you have a chance na mag-playoffs, eh, di ba? Okay. Uh, pwede kayo mag fourth slot, pero you have to fight against AEX and Mineski. So, uh, gano kayo confident in uh, getting into these the playoffs? Uh, paano, and paano yung preparation nyo para sa pagpasok sa playoffs? Uh, yun po. Uh, mataas din po yung confidence namin na makapag-playoffs kami. Kasi lahat po din naman yung dream namin na makapag-playoffs. Kaya asahan nila na mas malakas sa TNC pa next week yung makakalaban nila. Yun. And of course, um, since we did uh, we did come out good in this game, um, do you have any messages to your supporters? Because um, I know you, they're really cheering on you in the stream. Um, sa mga TNC fans po, uh, wag kayong tumigil sa supporta sa amin. Asahan nyo, ano, darating kami sa playoffs at mas lalo pa namin gagalingan. Alright, there you go. That was high from TNC Pro Team. And uh, this is gonna end the week four of the Bakus Pro Gaming Series 2017 Summer Split. This has been Rockheart, and again, this was high. And uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Stay tuned for next week, the finals week of the PGS. From here comes the now block, flash oh. in, fly, high, dodge is that, the last block will not connect, then now it gives high the room to bring in onto more action but it'll be Luxuria coming on the top, secure the kill on the NFA, now Burst is there, trying to secure, or locks on Sanaba, Sanaba's very low, he is trying to survive with the third of Colossus, but here comes Hayes for the flag, takes down for Ryzen Boy, and the self division is off, the Telephone Face coming in, but Echo is there, put a shot down with his victory, and high, can have to take too much, here comes Jason, and the Glacial Prison, thanks to Jason, will take it down, here comes Hayes going in onto Echo, and Hayes backs away, he is very low, high, he's oh. taking out the feathers, bring out the feather storm, here he goes, attack, he gets a double kill, let's see Jason backing away from high, he gets tethered by the left block, Hayes is still sticking out to Jason, and it will be high. Maybe triple that seed. Trying to get him in. And this ace is up the over the wall. Lando is there for this And now, AC has no research left. Hayes goes in, but he does get exhausted. He flashes inside. Trying to get more right but goes back inside. The jury has also shifted away. Trying to reposition himself. Lando caught and he swings away. So now, but he is very low. Sell the vision to play. The jury uses a two jump barrage. Trying to deal some damage, but it will be high. Securing the kill. He's on a killing screen with one member down. AC. Steel probably, maybe not. Nah. Yeah. TNT still managed to take the Baron, and now a fight breaks out. The environment. Jason is there, flashing over oh. the wall, but Lando is there for a three-man taunt. And Nava is very low. He is gonna stick it away, but it'll be Hayes taking care of the kill. And the Nava is still there for some slow. The Julia manages to get away from the grasp of TNT. No man again, leaving behind Jason for first to take him down. And now with three members down for ACA, TNT still fresh and alive. Oh no, that's the away. Ulti. That's the ulti. And then diamonds are pretty huge, and I don't think 18 seconds will be enough for ACA. They do not have the room to work with, but Luxuria! Whoa! Gets bursted with only... He was still 50% health, but he's not underestimated. the rest of the Gun plays the ground. Really a great rush item from Hayes, and now that snowball item, that gun blade that Hayes bought, really great. Yeah.